Welcome to this video about negative numbers in binary. So if we're going to start subtracting numbers, we need a way to represent negative numbers inside of our computer, which only uses ons and offs, or zeros and ones. So uh, there are three ways that uh, scientists have come up with to represent sign numbers. That sign notation, ones complement, and twos complement. And by the way, twos complement is what we're going to use in this class and what most people, most computers use today. But uh, just a little bit of history on how we got there. First, they came up with signed notation. So if we have a number, and I'm going to do use 8-bit numbers for this demonstration. Now, this is a positive 1 right here. Um, if we have a number and we want the negative version of that number, what we do is we just use the top bit or the most significant bit as an indication of whether this is a positive number or a negative number. So a zero up here means that we have a positive number. And if we have a one as the most significant bit, that means that we have a negative version of that number. So the top number up here using sign notation is positive 1. And just by flipping the bit to a 1, that means that we have negative 1. So um, this would be a good solution, except it leaves two zeros. So if we have 0 in binary, so all of our bits are 0, and then if we want the negative version of 0, then we uh, flip the bit, right? But in this case, we have a positive 0 and a negative 0. So um, that isn't too much to deal with. But now all of our math needs to look at the numbers and say, oh, if this number is 0, if we're comparing two numbers together inside of our computer and we see, oh, is this number equal to that number? We have to check if the number is 0, then we need to, um, we need to make sure that it, we say that it, it's equal, 0 is equal to negative 0 as well. And that's going to increase the complexity of our hardware that's going to make these sort of decisions. So we're going to have to do more work to create a computer that uses sign notation than if we were to use two's complement. So because of that, they decided to come up with another standard called one's complement. So let's go ahead and uh, come up with uh, our, and again, we're using eight bits. So we came up with uh, our number one here. And to make it negative, it, uh, we're going to flip not just the most significant bit, but all of the bits in our entire number. So when I say flip, we're going to make the zeros ones and the ones is zeros. And that's ones complement. Now, just like sign notation, we can look at the most significant bit, this one right here. If it's a zero, we have a positive number. And if it's a one, then we have a negative number. So now let's go ahead and make this number negative. So now I'm not just flipping the most significant bit. I'm flipping all of the bits. And since this bit happens to be a 1, I'm going to flip it and make it a 0. And that means that this number is now negative 1. So uh, the top number is positive 1. The bottom number is negative 1. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we do that with 0. Remember, we don't want two different zeros. So we'll go ahead and have our 0. And then when we flip all the bits, that's what we're left with. So up here, we have positive 0. Down here, we have negative 0. So we still have two zeros. So Really, one's complement probably isn't used pretty much anywhere, but it's just a step into what we're going to use, which is two's complement. So with two's complement numbers, let's go ahead and um, 
put our one here. So now we have positive one, okay? And by the way, with all three of these systems, the most significant bit is gonna tell you whether you have a positive number or a negative. If the most significant bit is a zero, then you have a positive number. And if it's a one, then you have a negative number. So this is positive one. So what we're gonna do for two's complement is the same thing as one's complement plus one additional step that will get rid of our double zeros. So we're gonna flip all of the bits. Like I did there. And then after we flip all the bits, we just add a single one to the number. So step one is to flip all of the bits and step two is to add one to that number. So let's go ahead and do our math. Zero plus one is one, 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 one. So this now becomes negative one. So this is positive one up here and this is negative one, okay? So now you might be saying, well, what does that adding one actually accomplish? So let's go ahead and try doing a two's complement of zero. So that's a zero. And then if we're going to do two's complement, we're gonna flip all of the bits. So they're all zeros, so we flip them all. And then we're gonna add one to our number. So um, we're, ju we're just adding uh, these two together. We're, we're, this is our original number, that's not part of the math. So we're just adding these two together. So let's go ahead and do our math. One plus one is zero, carry the one. That becomes one plus one plus zero is zero, carry the one, zero, carry the one. 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1, 0, and then carry the 1. Now if you notice, the 1 goes into the ninth bits spot. And our computer just doesn't have a place to store this for the number. When we build a computer and we decide our numbers are 8 bits, we only have 8 bits to store it. So this number just falls off the end and it has nowhere to go. And what are we left with? Well, zero. So two's complement removes the fact removes having two different zeros in our number system. And that is uh, very helpful for us. So we're going to use two's complement numbers. Now just a little bit of uh, just so you know, again, hopefully you know that uh, if the most significant bit is a zero, then that's a positive number. If the most significant bit is a one, that's a negative number. And um, the positive numbers, we can go from one to 127. So there are eight bits. And if you remember from maybe another class, eight bits allows you to represent numbers. If we have eight bits, that allows you to represent numbers from zero to 255, where it gives you a total of 256 different numbers. But when we use sign numbers, we can only go from one to 127, which is about half. And then we have the number uh, zero. And then we also have um, from negative one all the way to negative 128. So using eight bits, the range of our numbers are from negative 128 all the way up to positive 127. And so you might wonder why the positive numbers are less than the negative numbers. And that's because the number zero takes up that one of the positives numbers. So that's two's complement. Again, the steps to negate a number is to invert all the bits and then add one. 
So let's go ahead and try to see what happens when we take our negative one and we negate it. So if we negate a negative number, we make it positive. So we should get positive one. Let's go ahead. So we should get positive one. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to negate all of the numbers. And then we're going to add one to it. And sure enough, we're back to positive one. So thanks for watching.